What's going on everyone? It's Nathan here and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Skube Extreme. I saw this puzzle at a local bookstore and thought it looked interesting, so I decided to pick it up. It has a couple of things that make it a little bit more difficult, hopefully, than a regular Skube, uh, namely the edge pieces on the puzzle, uh, and so I wanted to go ahead and give it a shot. Hopefully, I can get this thing solved. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we have the Mefford Skube Extreme in affiliation with Tony Fisher. And the only real difference with this puzzle as compared to a regular Skube is that they have additional colors uh, on all of the edge pieces. And these are edge pieces because the centers are actually where the corners would normally be uh, is the position that they rotate from. So the thing that's gonna make this more challenging is I'm going to have to line up all of these pieces as well as the center pieces. Uh, I think that a general strategy that I'm going to use is I'm going to try and get all the corners just kind of matched up. I don't know that I want to do uh, layer by layer. You can see that this one's already in the right position here. Uh, and so I'm just going to try and get stuff like that and then build it. And then I'll worry about the uh, centers later, I suppose. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find another red piece that's here. Let's see here. Uh, let's insert. Good. That one's the right one. That one is in place. I think that I'm probably gonna end up with some sort of a parody, uh, and parody, if you're not familiar with it, is like a, a certain problem that you have that you don't normally get on a regular uh, version of a puzzle, uh, and it's due to just an additional something, so you have to find an algorithm for it, and I think that the parody is probably going to be that these are rotated and properly. So you can see that I have actually all the corners in place, uh, but the issue is now putting the edge pieces in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, my normal algorithms, you can see that that one lined up there. This one is correct. This one is not correct. This one is not correct. Let's do another one. Okay, that puts yellow back on top. Yellow goes here again. So what I'm doing is I'm just rotating out these edge pieces until they all fall into place, which they just did, but exactly as I expected, they're rotated improperly. This one's in the right place, and this is the only, well, there's two that are actually in the right place, and then these two are wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my algorithms on the top uh, and see what happens. Okay, does that rotate anything? I don't think it does. One, two, put that in place. Okay, so we're close, uh, but we're not quite there. You can see that this green piece uh, is rotated wrong and it needs to be flipped over. And this blue piece is the same way. I'm gonna try and just do this algorithm four times through, which should um, place this piece back into position. And I don't know if that rotated anything. Well, hold on, I gotta do that again. There we go. I don't know if that rotated anything. It did rotate something actually. Yeah, look, so it rotated the ones on the sides. That is really interesting. So if I continue to execute that algorithm, put that one back in place, green back in place. Oh, hold on two more times. Then what we're left with is those rotated back in the right position. Uh, and these are wrong, the blue and the green. So it stands to reason that if I do it from this red side here, it'll flip these two, rotate the ones on each side and solve the puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that algorithm a bunch more times. And let's see here. Okay, here's what it actually does. That rotates everything on the sides, but it also, also rotates the one on the front. It doesn't rotate the one on the back. Let's do it again here. Okay. And put that back in place. That's rotated properly, improperly, improperly, improperly. That's actually, is that what I wanted? That may be exactly what I wanted. I forget if it rotates the one on the top. If it does, then that's not what I wanted. But hold on. 
these are right. Okay, so this one's right. It's We're back to the position where the blue and the green are not in the right place. So I know that if I do that same rotational algorithm from this position, it's not gonna work. Um, if I flip it like this, it's not gonna work. Actually, no, I have an idea. So let's do this one more time. Put this back into position with the blue on top. That one's in the right position. These two are now mixed up. This one is wrong. Flip it again. Do it again. There it is. Okay, so that's actually really cool. Um, that's actually a pretty fun solve. It's a little step past the original skew. Uh, it gives you something a little bit more fun to do or a little extra step makes it a little more fun. Uh, however, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily a much more difficult step past the original skew. It's the same algorithms, but you just have to continue to flip the puzzle over and over again. Overall, a pretty fun puzzle, creative idea. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's got good turning. Pretty cool. So that is the Skube Extreme solved. This puzzle wasn't as difficult as I was hoping it would be. In fact, it was just the beginner's method algorithm uh, repeated over and over and over again with some additions of rotating the cube around to get it from the correct angle. So not that difficult of a puzzle, still a fun solve. If you haven't gotten into skew before and you haven't solved a skew before, then this would definitely be a serious challenge. Um, but as far as like twisty puzzles are concerned, I definitely rate it on more of the easy end of it because you really only need one algorithm. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this skew solve video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe as well for more content like this in the future. Sadly, we have just reached the end of this video. I'm Nathan. You guys have an awesome day. Goodbye.